This is a book of Isaiah 63 and verse 1. Who is that that comes from Edom with dyed garment from Bosra? This is that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength. I that speak in righteous might to save. Verse 2. Whereof art thou led in thine apparel and thy garment like him that treads and the wine fat? I have trodden the wine press alone, and of the people there was none with me. For I will treat them in my anger, and tramp them in my fury, and their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garment, and I will restrain all of my alignment. For the day of the Lord is in my heart, and the ear of my redeemed is come. Praise be to Yahweh. Bahashem Yahawashai Bahashem Rakaka Dash, the Bohana to Zelda and Apostle of Great Mission, peace, blessing, and salutation to Zaki and who pushing these truths to the four winds of the heaven. Uh, it's your brother Yashaya uh, coming again to you with this update in the algorithm of what you see. And you have here a rocket fired into Israel, Israel fireback. A Turkey want nukes now, man. A Pakistani beefing with India. So, uh, it's kind of everyday new things develop, man. As we read from Isaiah 63, from verse 1 to verse 4, man, the scripture telling you the, 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 the day of vengeance is in Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai heart, man. Uh, he will treat the wine press, man. His garment will be sprinkled with the blood of his enemy, man. And that is the thing in the Christian churches, they won't tell you, man. They won't tell you that the Lord is the Lord is to be feared, man. The Lord is about to do some bad stuff of light here, man. See, this is Isaiah 63, starting at verse one, on down. This is this is a chapter to be feared, man. The Lord is telling you His garment will be dyed in blood, man. See. You see, his garment will be sprinkled with his blood. So there will be a lot of killing, man. A lot of killing out of here, man. A lot of killing. Yeah, you see? Hey, man. Let's continue, man. Isaiah 63. Starting at verse uh, Isaiah 66, starting at verse 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariot like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury, his rebuke with frames of fire. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh. And uh, the word he plead goes back to judgment, eh? severe judgment, man. Uh, the Lord will speak if you are fresh, man, uh, in fire, man, in whirlwind, and a tempest, man. And that day, that day will, will be a, a hell of a day, man. Uh, every prophet wanted to see that day, man, because it will be a day to be reckoned in history. See, the spirit is telling you the Lord is coming with fire, man. The Lord is not coming with flowers. The Lord is not coming mounted in, a, in an earth, man. The Lord, the Lord is coming in a humongous chariot, man. The Lord is coming with his glory, man. Amen. The Lord is coming with fire, man. Pestilence. <laughs> to lend his anger, man. The thing the Christian they don't teach, another thing is... The Lord have emotion, man. That's why he has anger, man. The Lord is not like he's a statue of liberty. The statue of liberty don't have emotion. The Lord has anger. The Lord hate, man. And the Lord... Sometimes is determined to wipe certain people off the map, man. That's... The Lord we worship, man. 
as the Lord of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, as the Lord of the children of Israel. Uh, so he's telling you for by fire and by his sword with the Lord produce your flesh, man. This won't be a good a good day, man. And the slain of the Lord shall be men. See? So we see this. Let us go and dive into uh, this video over here. And then we will come back and finish some few scriptures, man. I want to do this as a quick hit, man. today's broadcast of the week, I do have some updates I'd like to bring to you, and I first would like to talk about Pakistan. It is being reported that apparently Pakistan's prime minister has found the most fullest possible response to India over Kashmir. Pakistan will make the fullest possible response to India's actions in the disputed Kashmir, and the global community would be responsible for any catastrophic aftermath. Pakistan's Prime Minister also stated, I have informed the world that Pakistan does not want war, but at the same time, Pakistan cannot remain oblivious to the challenges posed to its security and integrity. We are prepared to give the enemy the fullest possible response. This week, the Prime Minister had said war between the South Asian neighbors was a risk, but Pakistan would not act first. And Pakistan's Army Chief General stated that we are ready to give sacrifice for our Kashmir brothers and will do our duty to the last bullet, the last soldiers, and the last breath. And we are prepared to go to any extent. Those are definitely some fighting words coming out of Pakistan. And I have yet to hear India's response, but as soon as I do, I'll definitely keep you updated. But I would like to move on and talk about Turkey next. It is being reported that apparently the Turkish president has stated that they should have nuclear weapons, just like Israel. The Turkish president said on Wednesday that it was unacceptable that Turkey was barred from having nuclear weapons while other nations in the region had them. He said some countries have missiles with nuclear warheads, not one or two, but they tell us we can't have them. This I cannot accept. There is no developed nation in the world that doesn't have them. In fact, the Turkish president stated that we have Israel nearby as almost neighbors. They scare other nations by possessing these, and no one can touch them. However, the Turkish president stopped short of saying that Turkey would begin developing weapons, but seemed to rail against the terms of the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty, which Turkey signed in 1980. Turkey has also signed the 1996 Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty, which bans all nuclear detonation for any... So let's pause right there and get to scripture concerning that. Isaiah 9 uh, and 5. For every bit of the value, for the value is with confused noise and the garment rolled in blood. But this shall be with burning and the fuel of fire. So, 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 so this Edom might know, man, the coming war won't be uh, fighting with some old fashioned weapon the coming war will be with fires man cyber attacks emp you will see what is coming man even if you know what is coming man that's why this Turkish man they are they are eyeing those those look man and the Iranian, i told you i did a video about the kamanian the kamanian about to get them nuke man expect Iran to have nuke man <laughs> so let's continue. Purpose. So some very interesting words coming from the Turkish president. And as always, I'll continue to follow this report and bring you updates. But I would like to move on and talk about the U.S., China, and Russia. 
Mark Esper is warning about China and Russia and has called for a greater effort to counter them. U.S. Defense Secretary Mark Esper cautioned European allies against cozying up to China, arguing on Friday that Beijing seeks greater global influence by leveraging economic power and stealing technology. He said the more dependent a country becomes on Chinese investment and trade, the more susceptible they are to coercion and retribution when they act outside Beijing's wishes. I would caution my friends in Europe, this is not a problem in some distant land that does not affect you. China's technology theft for military gain is staggering. For anyone who wonders what a world dominated by Beijing might look like, I would argue all you need to do is look at how they treat their own people within their borders. He also stated that it is increasingly clear that Russia and China want to disrupt the international order by gaining a veto over other nations' economic, diplomatic, and security decisions. Finally, it reports that Esper's speech amounted to a statement of his top strategic priority to make China and Russia the main focus of U.S. defense planning shifting from the insurgent wars of recent decades in the Middle East and Afghanistan. And in the meantime, President Trump has sent the U.S. Navy and Marines to conduct a month-long war exercise in Alaska to counter the threat of... Let's get to the scripture about China uh, engaging with the, with the Americans this uh, technological things uh, uh, China is stealing. American technology and develops their own. Uh, China is, is, is being engaged with the American trade wars. Uh, uh, China is coming strong against the whole man. Uh, China, China stealing American jobs and whatever man. There is a prophecy for that man. Actually the Moabites have been uh, our washing pot. When you go into that scripture man the apostle broke it down is that uh, is that what what you see is going on man so uh, the more about being your washing pot they, they will wash the waste clean man uh, to prepare for the grand entrance of our kingdom man so the more about they will wash the waste uh, they will turn the waste into the into a third world country and the more about man they will cause the coming financial collapse man uh, that's why you seeing these trade wars which are going on uh, and whatever man so let's go to psalms 108 and 9. moab is my washing pot man uh, what is the washing pot used to do man <laughs> what is the washing pot used to do man to clean uh, they are going to clean uh, esau uh, hey man they are going to take everything esau have man they are going to bring about the fall of the West, you see. And uh, not only that, but at the end of the day, China uh, will nuke America with nukes, man. Uh, China with Russia. And uh, these other uh, uh, countries like Turkey, uh, Iran, India, Pakistan, and whatever. But now China is acting like our ocean port, man. Uh, clearing the whole clean man let's continue moab with my washing pot over idom will i cast my shoes <laughs> over first year will i triumph so that is a powerful script over there man and that is a power scripture to meditate on man because that will bring about the downfall of the whole man the whole will be broken to pieces by the moabite man and that's why the moabite are so many men the moabites are so many men their population is great there is nothing which happened by coincidence man. their job is to be like what the maggot and you know what the maggot do the maggot their job is to clean to recycle and that's why when Esau came into power he destroyed the ecosystem and now you seeing the earth is polluted because the ecosystem is not light, man. The ecosystem is a natural state of the earth uh, to rejuvenate itself and come back to normal after several years, man, or several days. You see, 
that's why you, you see we, we, we are giving out carbon dioxide taking in oxygen the trees are taking in carbon dioxide and giving out oxygen so that is a natural order of thing like the maggot and uh, in the human uh, human population you got uh, ecosystem also uh, that's why king solomon uh, he told you if we want to study and 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 all things just apply your wisdom to nature man. even job told you uh, that is a beast the beast uh, something along that that line is a beast and the earth will be my teachers uh, so like how you see the ecosystem is the maggot uh, the maggot your man man uh, uh, wherever there is uh, deities or, or wherever there is what you call uh, wherever there is this what you call uh, this deities uh, the maggot come when they clean and uh, the moabite are likened into the maggot uh, the <laughs> <laughs> that's why the, the moabite are many man they are many men is a more but there is a reason for that man because the lord used them as a maggot man. so that's why the scripture telling you more with my wash import i think that is a correct breakdown like that i mean that is a clear breakdown like there as a more by it like maggot man as a cleaning as a clean the, the environment before the entrance of the king <laughs> Hey man, when you see the Moabite, you need to pray for them to, to continue increasing. See, that's why that's why America can't do shit against the Moab. The Moabite are in every country in Africa. The Moabite are in every country in Europe. The Moabite are everywhere, man. They have companies. They are stealing jobs from the American man. That is their job, man, because they are maggots, man. Uh, they rejuvenate the order of ecosystem here on yes man before uh, the entrance of our, of our kingdom in which everything will remain in perfect order uh, that was a, the breakdown like there and uh, let's go to another part of the moabite uh, let's go to another part of the moabite and the russian see Let's go in. Let's go in. This is the second days as fifteen and thirty four. Not only the, the, the Moabite will act like maggot. They will burn yes, so, uh, the whole with missiles, man. Let's prove that. Second days are 15 and 34. Behold the cloud from the east. Uh, what is the strongest uh, country on the east? You have the, the, the answers, man. China. Uh, our maggot. Uh, and from the north on to the south, man, it's talking about, about, about Russia and this different other country. They are very horrible to look upon, full of rust and storm. See? They shall smile one upon another, and they shall smile down a great multitude of stars upon the earth, even their own star, and the blood shall be from the sword onto the belly. So in this, in this scripture, there are two kinds of, of star, man. There are stars for missiles and the star uh, to symbolize peoples, man. Uh, you see? You see? That's what you need to understand. Let's jump uh, on to verse 39. And the strong wind shall arise from the east, and they shall open it. And the cloud which he lays up in last, and the star stirred to cause fear towards the east. That, that star there is talking about the nuclear missiles. Man. So there are two kinds of star here when you read the second Jesus. So be, be careful. Second Jesus 15. Uh, towards the east and the west wind shall be destroyed. You see, let's go to verse 40. Verse 40, this is talking about the stars, the nuclear missiles, man. Uh, uh, 
the great and the mighty cloud shall be puffed up for, full of lust and as a star that they may make all the earth afraid. What kind of star is that? That was talking about the nuclear missile. But when you go up here, yeah. when you go up here to verse 35, it says, They shall smite one upon another. Mark the point there. And they shall smite down a great multitude of star upon his earth, even, even his own star. So that was talking about peoples, man. You see? Let's continue. Fire and hell and the flying sword and the many waters that your field may be full and of rivers, which is abundance of great water. So this was talking about the, 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 the countries which will come against the whore during World War Three, man. You see? During OD, during OD, you see. So China have a great role, man, in this end time process, man. First of all, they are uh, what we call maggot. And the second thing is they will burn the whole with fire, man. So let's continue. Rising Russian and Chinese influence in the Arctic region. Military activity in the area will be received as a clear indication that the U.S. president is looking to control the region with the Russian and Chinese leaders in the wings. Russia and China see the Arctic region as crucial to their plans of increasing trade and influence around the globe. U.S. ships will descend on key shipping lanes, taking part in surveillance as well as landing and also war exercises. More than 3,000 Navy and Marine personnel will participate in the exercise, along with dozens of vessels, helicopters, planes, and land-based vehicles. And in addition to that, the United States has sent B-52 bombers to the UK for the NATO's Cobra warrior exercise and other drills. The deployment also includes joint and allied training in the U.S.-European Command Theater to improve bomber interoperability. The release comes after the Defense Department reported on September 4th the arrival of a KC-135 Stratotanker aircraft assigned from the U.S. state of Nebraska National Guard to the airbase in the Czech Republic for the Ample Strike exercise. Exercise Ample Strike is an annual drill designed to increase proficiency levels for all forward air controllers and joint terminal air controllers, as well as to improve standardization among NATO allies and partners. Meanwhile, the B-52 bomber sent to the UK is also slated to participate in Cobra Warrior, an exercise that includes jets from German, Italian, and Israeli Air Forces. And speaking of Israel, the Times of Israel is reporting that rockets were fired from Gaza into Israel, and the IDF has struck back at Hamas targets in response. Incoming rockets set off sirens in Israel along the Gaza border late Friday after a series of deadly clashes along the border earlier in the day. The IDF said it had identified five projectiles that had crossed the border into Israeli territory. Israeli artillery and aircraft attacked several military targets belonging to the Hamas terror group in the northern Gaza Strip in retaliation, and there were no reported injuries, but Ynet News said that two women were being treated for shock. The exchange of fire came hours after two Palestinian teens were reportedly killed in clashes with Israeli troops along the border between the Gaza Strip and Israel in what the IDF called especially violent riots. The riots were especially violent and included the throwing of a large number of explosive devices, hand grenades, and fire bombs at the fence and IDF soldiers. A spokesman for Hamas blamed Israel for the Palestinians' deaths and warned of a possible response, stating that Israel will bear the consequences for this crime. So definitely a very serious situation. And I'll continue to follow this report and bring you updates. But I do have one last report I'd like to bring to you in regards to Poland and the United States. Poland is boosting military cooperation 
with Washington after it has requested additional weapons and vehicles as part of its plan to acquire 60 launchers and around 185 missiles. The Polish defense minister announced that his country has filed two letters of request to the U.S. Defense Security Cooperation Agency to procure the FGM-148 Javelin anti-tank missile systems and five of the C-130H Hercules transport aircraft for its territorial defense forces. The request came as Washington makes headway in sending its military to Poland. Uh, let, let me do a quick a quick hit on countries on countries like Denmark what do you call it this is was Denmark huh? just last and five of the C-138 it was Poland man. A country like Poland Sweden Greece uh, Vietnam Philippines North Korea, Japan. Uh, where is this country in the scriptures? Man? Let's go into it. This is Joel 3. Uh, this is Joel 3. I will start at verse 9. Uh, Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare all. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of all draw near. Let them come up. Man. So this is the mighty man. He's talking about mainly. The Edomite, because the Edomite were made. Uh, amen. They are blessing the sword, man. <laughs> so Israel really this war is for him. But you go to this small countries among the Edomite. And this has a Moabite and whatever, man. What is the is their portion in this world you see? Verse 10. That's the main point. Beat your prosia into swords and your pruning hook into spear. When you go, man. When you go in to study about about geography, you will see that Poland is their main uh, uh, countries. Uh, they are like farmers, man. Uh, they, are, they are not made for war. Uh, and the 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 Korean, uh, and the the Vietnamese, and the Philippines. Those men, those are farmers, man. Those are livestock keepers, man. They are not they are not made for wars, man. But they will turn their pruning here into swords and their pruning hook into spears, man. They will stop uh, being uh, farmers or livestock keepers. They will start boosting, thinking that they are strong, man. They will turn their pruning hook uh, into swords and, uh, and they are pruning they are pressure into swords and they are pruning hook into spears, man. So they will start beefing up. Uh, preparing for this war, man, because the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahusha is heavy out of there, man. Uh, uh, it really, it really sad that two said they don't see it, man. Let's continue. Let, let the weak say I am strong. Uh, so this, 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 this country, they are really weak, man, but they are boosting, uh, trying to come strong, trying to 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 to, to, to occupy fighter jets, man. So they are turning into nation is your farmers and the livestock keepers it's, they are starting to learn wars man like in Oskolea. in Oskolea, they are really those people are really weak man the moabite and the ammonite are the weakest of all nations if you didn't know even ham is stronger than them man. the lord allowed them to obtain that technology man you see <laughs> because that that's how the lord did man that's the Lord. That's the Lord. You can't question how do you get this week? How did you didn't you give harm this weapon? That's the Lord, man. Turning this 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 this, this weak nation, this this nation which we are made to be farmers uh, and the lives of keepers. You see, living in the kingdom of heaven, uh, even this other nation they really have rank. When we go to the hierarchy of the kingdom of heaven, uh, to mention it uh, roughly, uh, you will have your Hawa. Down there, your Hawa Shai. Down there, you have King David. Down there, we have the 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 
which as an elder in the nation of Israel. Down there we have the rest of the 144,000. Down there we have the rest of one said. Down there we have two said. Down there we have these other nations, Ham and this other nation. Down on the on the bottom, <laughs> you have the Edomite. <laughs> so really, the Hamite, we, we, we will put the Hamite to be to be guards on Esau. Esau we will put Esau on the plantation, and this other and and, and this other nation is will be on the plantation, but there will be ranks among this other nation. That's why when you read the scriptures. Let's go. Let's go to Isaiah. Let's see. Let, let me show something. Read this other nation. Is, is, there will be ranks among this other nation. Yeah. This is Isaiah 14 and 9. Harry from beneath is moved for thee to meet thee at thy coming. It is stirred up the dead for thee, even all the chief one of the earth. It has raised up from their throne all the king of the nation. All they shall speak and say unto thee, At thou also became weak as we, at thou became like unto us. <laughs> thy pomp is brought down to the grave, and the noise of the violin, and the worm is spread under thee, and the worm cover thee. So really, when we put these other nations to walk in plantation, we will have, we will have slaves among those nations in which we will put to, to, to to, 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 to supervise them, like how Esau did it to us. Esau, he, he took our own people uh, to, to supervise us, man. We will do the same thing, man. We will put harm over Esau uh, to make sure Esau <laughs> do his job properly. But all of these other nations will be seven. They will be working in plantations. But Esau will be On the bed sea of the hell, he will be like Myers on the street, trampled by every nation. So we will put this hemite over his man. <laughs> we will put this Moabite hemite over over his We will tell them make sure his will do his job, man. No less. That's why, let's go. Let's go to one scripture. There is one scripture here you want to prove a point. Man. This is Obadiah 1 and 2. Behold, I have made this more among the heathen, though I had a greatly despised. Right now, you see, like the Edomite Amen, man. the Edomite Amen from Europe to South Africa to whatever, man. But really, this is going. Uh, as we go forward, this Edomite are, are starting to be small among the nation. And this will, uh, uh, will be in full effect when we are in the kingdom. This, this Obadiah 1 and 2 will be full effect when we are in the kingdom. Everybody will despise the Edomite in the kingdom. Uh, and uh, believe me, when we put this, 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 this this Hamite over Esau to, to make sure Esau do his job. Uh, we report the Hamite as 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 as, <laughs> as over Esau, man. They will make sure Esau toil, man. Because Obadiah one and two will be also in full effect in the kingdom. Everybody will despise uh, the Edomite, man. Everybody will dis despise the Edomite. And nobody will have pity on, on, on Esau, man. So when we took this, this Hamite to make sure Esau do his job, man, on the plantation, the, the Hamite won't be, won't be joined hand in hand with Esau, man. The Hamite will, 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 be <laughs> will make sure that Esau perish, man. So let's continue. Hercules transport aircraft for its territorial defense forces. The request came as Washington makes headway in sending its military to Poland. Just last week, it was announced the two countries had agreed on six locations within Poland for the future stationing of 1,000 new 
non-permanent U.S. troops. Poland has offered to extend at least $2 billion for the construction of a new U.S. base in Poland. As part of its efforts dubbed Fort Trump, and finally, it reports that Poland has been wooing the U.S. for some time as part of an ongoing effort to counter a perceived Russian threat. And Russia, for its part, regards Poland's military buildup as a threat to stability in Europe. So it's pretty safe to assume that Russia's not going to be too happy about these latest moves. But as always, I'll continue to follow these reports and bring you updates. However, I'd love to hear from all of you. So please do leave your comments. In the so let's go and finish with Psalms 91. Many people don't know that Psalm 91 was talking about the coming war, the nuclear war, man. And it was talking, going to how the elect uh, will be delivered, man. Psalms 91, let's start uh, at 1, man. I will read on down. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Who are these men? Talking about the elect, man. The elect are the only people in the final years uh, which fear a harbor, a shame, a shy, man. That is abiding under the shadow of the Almighty. Verse 2, I will say, I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in Him will I trust. So the elect will trust in Yahweh, Hashem, Yahushai, uh, to deliver them on the coming war. Uh, leave alone this other camp which says they will flee to Africa, man. Uh, you are not going to escape the coming, the coming judgment, man. Uh, you have seen people we aren't able to flee even from the hurricane Dorian, which happened. Uh, how do you think in your area you are going to flee from what you see? First of all, what you see will come like a thief in the night. The moment you don't expect, that is the moment what you see hit, man. And you Negroes who, 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 who want to flee, you will be caught of God, man. Verse 3, surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler. What is the snare of the fall? It was talking about the nuclear missiles, man. From the noise of the pestilence. That's, that's, that's where you will know the fall was talking about the, uh, 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 the nuclear missile. How do you think pestilence will make noise? That's why we call the nuclear missiles, or what you see, that is an ultimate pestilence. The pestilence of the pestilence. That's like how you go to the elect of the elect. You go to the elect and you go to the elect of the elect of the elect. <laughs> the elect of the elect of the elect. You go to the elect as 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 one said, and uh, in one said you got the one forty four thousand. So it is elect in the elect. And in the elect of the elect there is the elect. In the one forty four thousand you got King David and the twelve apostles. They have their special cities, man, if you can read the scriptures. So that is the elect of the elect of the elect of the elect, if you can get that. Man. So nuclear missiles is the pestilence of the pestilence of the pestilence. The scripture gives you a breakdown See, of the pestilence. They give you famine, they give you the, the sword, in which the nuclear missile is the sword, but the sword of the sword, the pestilence of the pestilence. The scripture tells you about diseases. You see? But the nuclear missile will be the pestilence of the pestilence because everybody in this year will be affected. Uh, let's say Black Death hit. Black Death, when it is hit, it hits, it hits a certain area. Like, let's say it hit America, it hit Europe. Or oh, oh, Ebola, Ebola, it hit Congo, it hit Africa, West Africa. But nuclear missile, when it hit America, the whole world will be affected because, according to science, as I tell you, there won't be rain for a moment of time. And it will be dark out of here for at least 10, 10, 10, 10 years. Man. So that will affect many men. So after the nuclear missiles expect many to die, 
from famine, man. and that is a horrible death, man. Blout by hot by the nuclear missiles. So let's continue. Verse 4, and he shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wing shall thou trust. He's talking about the chariot, man. This truth shall be thy shield in vacuum, man. In order for you to get in the chariot, what is the ticket, man? Holding into Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, man. Holding into his pure doctrine. Not, not, not some gimmicks that Yahweh Hashem did to perform your course and you go to Adam about doing the breakdown of second days as 11 and 12. Even myself, I don't know the complete breakdown, but what Adam about did, that was pure foolishness. Man. You're trying to bring Americas and, and whatever, Bush and whatever. <laughs> Verse 5, thou shall not be afraid of the terror by night. What is that talking about? The night symbolizes judgment. That's why when you go into different scriptures, it's talking about the morning. The morning will shine on the children of Israel. The morning is coming. The morning will be after judgment. So what is the night? The night symbolizes the judgment. That's why the Edomite got something called the doomsday clock. It will hit midnight very soon. They tell you two minutes to midnight. So midnight it will present judgment. That's why you got that song, which that song in Independence Day. I uh, know that speech of that president in Independence Day. Go and look for, 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 for that trailer when that president was speaking. He went on to say that we won't go quiet. In the night, something like that. Man. So the night in which the Edomites are talking, uh, it really goes back to the judgment which is coming. Man. The ultimate pestilence, the pestilence of the pestilence. Uh, nuclear missiles. Man. So Isa is saying they won't go, go quiet in the night on that judgment because they, 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 they are planning to fight Yahweh. Man. So when you look in Independence Day, that part, when the president was giving speech, that was talking about the war in heaven. Isa was predicting the war in heaven. And the war in heaven will happen alongside Odio City. So go and watch Independence Day and they will see a part where that president was giving his speech, that is, you want to go quiet in the, in the night or whatever. That was a prediction to the war in heaven. The war in which Isa will try to shoot down the Hawashite man. What a foolish and a direct challenge to the assault of Yahweh <laughs> Shai. <laughs> so let's go. Let's go to verse 6. Nor for the pestilence that walks in the darkness. So the darkness implies judgment as I broke it down to you. Nor for the destruction that wastes at noonday. Another thing, man. Noonday. Judgment, man. Midnight, noonday, a thousand shall fall at thy side. So this is what you will see will kill a lot of people. That's why we call the pestilence of the pestilence. The ultimate pestilence. A thousand shall fall at thy side and a ten thousand at thy right hand. But it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thy eye shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even most high thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwellings. It's a plague symbolizing nuclear missiles, man. That the ultimate plague, the plague in the plague, the plague of the, of the plague. You see? For he shall give him angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy way. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against the stones. The stones symbolize the judgment which is coming. So the angels will, will beam us into the chariot. Man. To prove that, let's go to Matthew. Man. Matthew. Matthew 24. Matthew 24 and 31, and he shall send his angel with a great sound of trumpet, and they shall gather 
together he's elect from the four winds, from the one hand of the of the heaven to the other. So Let's go. Let's go and see. Charlie. Let's go and see. There is something you want to find here. Something I want. Yeah. That is the 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 elect will be delivered uh, because you got people who claim that we have we have already been uh, we have already been saved uh, we have already been saved the Christian tell you we have no man. You are not saved. That's why the Lord will send his angels to together his elect. How in your hell you are saved? That's why the scripture tells you who endure to the end is the same who shall be saved. And I asked I ask this, this one, one Christian saying, you claim the rapture is coming. In which trumpet will the rapture happen? Uh, we call it the, 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 the beaming up of the elect. I tried to explain it to him that the elect will be beamed into chariot. And I, asked, I, I turned to him and asked a question. In which trumpet? He don't know even what does the trumpet mean. You see? So let's go to, to Job 5 and, 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 and 19. He shall deliver thee in six trouble here. In seven, they shall no evil touch you. So the seventh trouble is talking about the nuclear missiles, man. If you didn't know. <laughs> this other six seat, Jacob trouble, pestilence, normal pestilence, plague, you feminine, and whatever. The seventh plague, that's why in the, in the midst of six and seven Trump, the elect will be beamed up. So the same things with Job 5 and 19, it was going to those a seven trumpet, man, to symbolize those seven plagues, man. And uh, seven, it simply means completion. The completion of this, of this, of this plagues, which will be the end of this world, will be nuclear missiles, man. That's the seven, the seventh plague or the seventh trouble. That's why we call the nuclear missiles the pestilence of the pestilence. And as a chariot, don't forget about the chariot. The chariot as a pestilence of the pestilence. Alongside with the missiles, man. Don't forget that. Because when these missiles will be dropping, the chariot will be shooting laser, laser beams out of here, man. So, the nuclear, nuclear missiles, together with the chariot, those are the seven the seventh plague, the completion of plague, or the completion of this pestilence, or the completion of these scourges which are coming upon the earth. That's going to prove that as the, the, the chariot, uh, it symbolizes that uh, seventh, the seventh trouble, which is the completion of this trouble. And the seven means completion. This is the Kalah 5, starting at verse 1. Then I turned and lifted up my eyes, they looked and behold a flying law, and he said unto me, What though, what see thee though? And I answered, They see a flying law. The length thereof is twenty cubic, and the breadth thereof is ten cubic. Then said he unto me, This is the curse, man. What is the meaning of the curse? Pestilence, trouble, plague. So the servants trouble, it will be nuclear missiles and the chariot. That's the completion. Of the plagues which will hit this yes man so going back to those stars 
those stars which will fall those stars which will fall those stars which will fall let's go and let's see let's go those stars which will fall Let's see. Uh, this is stars which will fall on the sixth seal, and then the elect will be de delivered. That's between the sixth and the seventh seal. See? So, I broke it down to you that the nuclear missiles that went to Psalms 91, uh, the pestilence which the scripture was talking, was talking about the nuclear missiles. I broke it down to you that the nuclear missiles will be the ultimate pestilence and we went to job 5 and 19 we saw there will be seven plug but the elect will be delivered between the six and seven plug the seven plug won't touch them the seven plug symbolizes the missiles man and the chariot the chariot we went to the color five we saw the chariot symbolizes that cast man which will happen simultaneously with, 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 with the missiles, man. So, going back to the sixth, uh, to the sixth seal, man, the sixth seal, uh, because the, the, the seal is a seven, the sixth seal, those stars, it was talking about the nuclear missiles, man. If you can, you will be able to link between these things, you will understand those stars, it was talking about the nuclear missiles, man. So here in GMS, we didn't make things up, man. Uh, we broke it down that the stars it was talking about the nuclear missiles, man. Because this star will fall between the six and seven seed, leading the seven, the, the seven seed or the seven vial. So, so in the six seed to the seven, it was talking about that trouble in which the elect will be delivered, that trouble won't touch the elect, or the pestilence in which the elect won't touch them. It was talking about the nuclear missiles, man. So really these stars are missiles, man, if you can get it. Because I broke it down to you, to the common denominator. You see, to the common denominator. So let's go to Revelation 6. And verse, verse 12, and I beheld when he had open, opened the sixth the six seal, and the Lord, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as circles of fire, and the moon became as blood. So what is that, man? Let's talk about the nuclear missiles. Man. Let's not talk about the actual star. And the star of heaven fell onto the earth, even on the fig tree, cast an atomic fig when he is shaken of the mighty wind. So... <laughs> People be like, the stars, the star mentioned here are so many, it can't be nuclear missiles. 200 million nuclear missiles are not many. You, 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 you fucking stupid, man. If you don't believe the missiles, the stars were the missiles, and you don't believe the missiles as a pestilence in which uh, Psalm 91 was talking about, and we went into Isaiah 9 and 5. We went on to Isaiah 63 to, to see that the dyed garment from Bozila. What kind of weapon will be able to do that, man? The chariot and nuclear missile, that is the ultimate pestilence. It's the pestilence of the pestilence. The, 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 the seventh trouble which will not touch the elect. The sixth to the seventh trouble, when I say the seven. Some people will come to me, that, 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 that was not, not talking about the seven trouble. The seven trouble arc. No, man. The nuclear missile will be shooting on the sixth the six seal, man. 
So the devastation of the nuclear missiles will continue. Man. That's why the elect will be delivered out of here, man. Oh, there is no flesh will be saved, man. You see? <laughs> so, this is I say shalom. I hope you brothers are identified.